was a cow versus cow matchup. Aaron Rodgers and Jared Goff. Both former Golden Bears quarterbacks met up for the second time in their careers at Lambeau Field for the divisional round of the playoffs. In its 74-year run, the NBA has never had a player do something this unique when it comes to their scoring. But in just his fifth season, Denver Nuggets shooting guard Jamal Murray set a brand new NBA record. American women have found extreme success at the Australian Open. And women's national coach Kathy Rinaldi only has high hopes for the rest of 2022. Had coach Craig Skinner reflected on his first match with Kentucky against Wright State in 2005 and how he dreamed of building a program that would attract fans and win championships. Well, 16 years later with 500 fans in attendance, it's safe to say dreams do just in fact come true. Air Force women found themselves in a tough battle. They lost the doubles point and were down three to one, but they didn't quit. Chris Whalen found himself in hot water on Monday when a video and text message emerged on social media of him using both racist and sexist language leading to his dismissal from the UCLA men's team. Head coach Avery Anderson announced Whalen's dismissal in a statement from the team's Twitter account Monday night. After missing out on this Sunday's comeback victory over the Carolina Panthers, the Minnesota Vikings have reinstated Adam Thielen after he was placed on the COVID-19 list on November 23rd. With 49 receptions for 646 yards and 11 touchdowns on the season, this is definitely an asset the Vikings are going to be looking forward to having back on the field for their matchup on Sunday. What do you get when a comedian and a football coach walk into the same room? A brand new Netflix movie. Actor Kevin James will be playing New Orleans head coach Sean Payton in a Netflix movie called Home Team. This is based on Payton's 2012 suspension for his involvement in the Bounty Gate scandal where members of the Saints were accused of paying out bonuses for injuring opposing team players. The film is set to be shot later this year. While NFL fans saw the Pro Bowl in the format of a video game, unable to face off physically on the field, NBA fans will see their elite athletes on the big screen live. Finch has over 24 years of NBA and G League experience along with coaching internationally. While this is the first time he's being named head coach in the NBA, he did serve as the head coach of Great Britain's national team from 2006 to 2013, where he led the national team in the 2012 Summer Olympics in London. He also led them to a European Championship berth in 2009 and in 2011, which was the team's first appearances since 1981. Wayne Player, son of legendary golfer Gary Player, has been banned from the Masters. While his father was being honored at the event by Chairman Fred Ridley, Wayne was seen in the back of all photos and videos holding his father's encore golf ball in what was deemed as, quote, ambush marketing. Following the event, player told Golf Now that he had, quote, zero intent to advertise the brand and thought the only point was that it would be cool for my fans to know what ball my dad was teeing off with. He has since been banned from Augusta National as well. Mark Player addressed the issue as well, stating, quote, What a shame. What an embarrassment. What a bad decision to allow him on the first tee after years of similar shenanigans. My apologies to all. Tiafo stated, quote, This special event is a unique way for me and for many of us to show our gratitude for the sacrifices made by our military families. They've overcome challenges including financial difficulties and family separations that I've experienced in my past. With my tennis racket and my voice, I can raise awareness for their needs. I'm proud of that. I'm Ellie Davis at the USTA National Campus, and this is the American Report. This past week, love was in the air for our American athletes. Asia Muhammad headed to Tulum, Mexico to celebrate what she called hashtag Asia's final fiesta. She was joined at her bachelorette party by friends and other tennis pros. Muhammad is engaged to Australian tennis player Dane Kelly. Jack Sock celebrated his first year of marriage to wife Laura Little, enjoying each other's company in an anniversary photo shoot and an all-day date. Congratulations to all of our athletes. One thing we all can agree on is that we love Billie Jean King. The legend added one more honor to her storybook career, receiving Sports Illustrated's Muhammad Ali Legacy Award. The award celebrated, quote, individuals whose dedication to the ideals of sportsmanship have spanned decades and whose career in athletics has directly or indirectly impacted the world. With over 60 years of involvement in the sport, 
King's dedication to the advancement of equality in the sport has never wavered. Next week, be sure to tune in for Battle of the Brits. Live coverage begins on Tennis Channel on Tuesday at 1.30 Eastern. For Tennis Channel, I'm Ellie Davis.